Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitpatch.com, out here for another gear view, and today, talking knives. These two guys right here, the Minuteman, as well as the Northman X by Amtac Blades. Broad strokes, what are they? Well, they are knives, so they can cut things. And all the utility of a knife to include fire sheaths, which is amazing for starting fires. But they are absolutely purpose-driven tools with respect to defensive blades. So there's a lot of like nuance in the design that lends itself to that. And this one being the larger of the two, which is the Minuteman, and this one right here being smaller of the two, which is the Northman X. This right here being a pocket sheath and this being a belt sheath. So the way I actually carry these two at the same time is Northman X, strong side pocket sheath, and Minuteman, other strong side in belt sheath. And now I have access with either hand to a tool, whether it's this guy or this guy right here, which if you get in a bad situation, being able to access a tool with either hand, it's pretty amazing. As I mentioned, there's a number of design considerations with respect to these blades that you don't usually find in like, I don't know, like a woods knife or a utility knife or something like that. Now granted, you can absolutely do all of those things with this blade, but again, different things built in. To include just the geometry, like this is made to stab. Like, and you can absolutely stab with this. By way of example, here's a little clip of me basically stabbing through some soft body armor. Like, it will go through. And so, yeah, like, that's the geometry there. Like, that's what it's made for. And you don't have this huge, giant belly. It's not made for skinning stuff out. Absolutely have used them for skinning stuff out, my boys. And it works. Or maybe I skin it myself. Deer I shot. But you can absolutely do it. But again, kind of purpose driven towards defensive use. And so with that, you have something that is really thin. So it rides flat up against you. And you also have this right here, which is a puño. So when you go to grab it, basically your hand hooks, you can draw it out. And the other thing with this is the handle is just big enough to fit inside your hand. You don't have a bunch, like big, giant, oversized handle. It's just enough for your hand. And with the Northman, the Northman actually has a little bit smaller handle than the Northman X, which is the other one right here. And between the two, yeah, this being basically the same size handle, just different size blade. But again, that being important. And the other part with that is you can actually thumb cap this, either like that or over like that. Super secure, but enough space to do that and it's actually flat. You don't have anything sticking out back there. Also, one of my favorite parts and is sorely overlooked on most knives is the sheath. So these come with a fire sheath, either belt sheath or pocket sheath. And they use the DCC clips, discrete carry concepts, I want to say, which have a cloth grabber in there. Does an amazing job. Like, you can put these things in sweatpants and your sheath will stay put. But you have this Velcro backing right here, which I will say, I think the first time I ended up, like, ripping out some of the grommets, it's just, there's these grommets part of the sheath. But if you yank this, especially down here, you can pull it out. So you can pull this part. You just can't like rip this whole thing out. And so it allows you to stash things back there. More on that in a second. And also the sheath is just really small. And it's set up to where it doesn't matter which way the blade faces. It'll basically lock in and retain it either way if you're carrying one side or the other. And you can also adjust the tension in the sheath with these screws here. And my favorite is ferro rod. So I have one of the very original Northmans where this was not a true 90. It is now. And it was, 
it was supposed to be on those original ones it just wasn't but true 90 so on this fire sheet you can basically use that built-in ferro rod and start fires which is pretty handy especially if you spend a lot of time out of doors in the mountains which I consequently do and the other thing that i do like again this little velcro piece like you can put whatever you want hundred dollar bill some get out of jail money whatever you want in here i actually have these by sear pick it's their little oss set and basically three different little picks and this little saw and this guy here i actually just used these day before yesterday i've used them a number of times use them to get into my house one time use them to a student actually at a class had his gun case locked his keys were in i don't know somewhere on the east coast not there got him into his gun case and just the other day i went out to this range and i was like hey what's the code for the gate code didn't work but there was actually a lock on there pick the lock real quick boom done being able to have those right there always with you really handy and then i think combatives integrative combatives the way the handle is made it's thin enough to where you can actually get a good two-handed grip on your gun or pick up magazines do other stuff rather than a big bulky handle again a lot of design considerations which i guess brings me to how they use these blades whether it's the Minutemen or the Northman X. Honestly, just a lot of utility stuff. Whether it's simple things like opening boxes or, as I've mentioned, I've definitely ended up like gutting out deer with them. I've also, yeah, just utility stuff. So out in the back country, need to cut up some food, which is usually some sort of meat, usually pretty carnivore. So, cutting up meat things along those lines and definitely use them in conjunction with the fire sheaths to start fires to include pass them off to my boys have them start fires little fire challenges and then we get into the training blades and the training which brings us to actually training with training blades again basically exactly the same dimensionally as far as handle everything like that except the tip is about a half inch shorter so when you end up making contact with someone you would have already penetrated a half inch and i've been fortunate to be able to actually get a lot of training in with these respective blades at some different courses whether it was the blade or pistol blade class up there with Amtec Shooting, Bill Rapier, and Tom Kyer, or I ended up going over to the Modern Warrior Conference with both those instructors, as well as Harley Elmore and Master Chim. Another three-day block. And being able to put in time is amazing. Granted, when we get into price and stuff like that, people are like, oh, that's way too much for a knife. And if you're opening Amazon packages with it, way too much for a knife if you're actually going to use everything it comes with to include training blades like huge value add and the capability increase of being able to deploy a blade in addition to a pistol with either hand pretty incredible so being able to have the training blades and the training to go with it huge value add with respect to actual knives as far as kind of some specs on these knives this right here being the Minutemen, this being the Northman X, they both have the same size handle, which is three and three quarter inches with these G10 scales. And both blades are made out of, make sure I get it right, M390 steel. And they have a swedge, again, made for stabbing. This one is offered serrated. I don't think the Minutemen is, it could be. They're also both offered sterile, meaning there's no laser engraving, anything like that. Like, totally sterile. Both these are engraved. Minutemen, Northman X. Blade length right here. This is three and a half inches, which is basically the same length as the Northman. 
but the same size handle as the Minuteman, hence Northman X. Whereas this, the blade length is four inches. And I'll actually show you them compared to the Northman and the Northman X and the Minuteman. Get them all laid, uh, laid, laid out, laid out. So you can see just kind of different sizes because some people, yeah, some people are kind of curious. So I'll show you that. Right here, giving you kind of the idea of the different sizes. As I said, on the far right is the Northman, smaller handle, but same size blade as the Northman X. In the middle, Northman X, same size handle as the Minuteman, but the same size blade as the Northman, and then the Minuteman, which is the larger handle and larger blade. And then we have sheaths. So on the far right is deep concealment sheath, made for going again deep inside like your waistland and then you have the pocket sheath in the middle and the belt sheath with respect to price the northman x is i want to say 500 and the minuteman is 550. with that of course the live blade as well as either a belt sheath or pocket sheath respectively and storage sheath and a training blade for the respective blade of your choice or whichever one you actually ordered. Is that a lot of money? It's a ton of money if you're just opening Amazon packages with it and you don't carry it and you don't commit time to training, then yeah, like it's just a really expensive knife that you'd probably be better served with something other than this. This, again, is purpose-made. And with that, yeah, like, there's a lot of pretty cool design considerations with it. Whether it's the sheath, like, handle geometry, all of those things. And if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. And that's fine. But if you go down the path of certain training, whether it's just blade work, combatives, SIOC, Atienzakali, whatever it is, all of a sudden, this becomes a really good deal because you now have a super legitimate defensive tool that you can deploy with either hand and yeah, purpose made. And it's one of those where like, well, I could do this with this now. You can, and maybe, I don't know. I mean, honestly, once, once I kind of gone down the road of purpose-driven knives like these, you start to see inadequacies in other things, whether it's handle geometry or terrible sheath that you can't carry. Like the sheath is a complete afterthought. It's like, oh yeah, you can bolt this on the molly. Like I don't wear molly every day. Like I usually just wear shorts or pants. So how's that work with my lifestyle? And all these different considerations, which or taken into account being a blade for like legitimate everyday carry as a defensive tool, but maybe not for everyone. And real quick, cause someone's probably gonna ask like, how does it fit in the hand? This right here being the Northman X, this being the Northman, a little bit smaller handle. Absolutely works, absolutely works. You can of course reverse it, same thing. Thumb cap, totally works. Again, if you have giant gorilla hands, I would definitely go with the Northman X. Totally depends on you. But if you're interested in picking one up, there'll be links down below, you can go check it out. And if you're interested in training with set knives, there'll be links for that as well. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's going over to kitbatcher.com, picking up KBAT target pads, stickers, patches, things like that, helps me go out or supporting me directly through Patreon or Utreon. And if you have questions for me, we have active Discord over on Patreon. Happy to answer your questions over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.